Good morning, Audacious Church. It's Paul here. I'm the campus pastor of Manchester Campus, along with my wife, Zoe. And today we're going to be praying or continuing to pray as part of our 21 days of prayer for breakthrough. Joshua chapter 6 says this in verse 20. When the trumpet sounded, the army shouted, and at the sound of the trumpet, when the men gave a loud shout, the wall collapsed, so everyone charged straight in and they took the city. I don't know if you're familiar with the story, but this is the moment where everything changed for Joshua and his army. We call this a breakthrough moment. And that's what we're believing for in and through Audacious Church. It's always been part of our story. We've always bitten off more than we can chew. We've always declared the goodness of God and spoken about things that are not as though they are with the faith to then take God at his word that he would make it so. Okay, so today we're going to be praying for the central location of our Manchester campus. God has put us in a big city with a big need, but we have just enough faith to believe that our big God will do big things. Joshua and his army, in the story we just sort of took a little snapshot from, had been marching around the city that God had already given them. You can see that in verse 2. It says, Then the Lord said to Joshua, See, I have delivered Jericho, that was the name of the city, into your hands, along with its king and its fighting men. But as yet, they hadn't taken hold of what God had given them. In other words, the walls were still up. Nothing was really happening. It would have seemed like, like it was... Pointless, no change, their impact was minimal at this point. But after a certain time of keeping on, keeping on, God intervened. It's one of those amazing suddenly moments in scripture that we read about all the time. And it is exactly what we're believing for in Manchester. We've been working hard, we've been praying, giving, serving and loving this city for the last 15 years and we've seen God do some amazing things but there are three areas that we know specifically that we're going to pray about that God has not finished yet he's still got more to do I want to invite you to join us as we pray for salvation finance and relationships in our campus Okay, first of all, salvation. Let's pray that many people encounter God in our services and through all of our programs, both in-house and out in and around the city. Pray for our schools teams and our A, A teams, our congregation to have the courage to invite and bring people and that God would set people free as he is always in the habit of doing. We want more of that in our church. Let's pray for finance. We need a breakthrough in the area of finance. Our vision is big and it's only limited by two things. Human resources, in other words, we need more people to play their part in doing this and outworking this vision. And secondly, financial resources. Our vision has always been bigger than our budget. Would you pray specifically that everyone who calls Audacious Church their home to have a revelation of the spiritual discipline of tithing? That is putting God first in their finances. Because we know that will lead to personal increase for all of those families and all of those individuals, which will lead to even greater impact and greater influence for them and so therefore our church. Finally, would you pray that as we grow as a campus, people will still cultivate meaningful, life-giving relationships at church. That our small group engagement will go up through the roof as people commit to another spiritual discipline, and that being fellowship. Pray that no one will ever come through the doors of our church and remain lonely. And that people will find community, a community of faith to belong to and to own in such a way that others can find it too. Let's stand together and see God do even more. We love you, Audacious Church. Let's pray.